Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is Curiel. Uh, today is voiceover Curiel. <laughs> As you can see, I'm just waking up in this video, getting ready to film it for you guys. We're doing a cracked doll makeover today with a little bit of like a skull exposed. I'm kind of winging this one, so that's why I wanted to do a voiceover, just so I'd be able to describe better what I'm doing <laughs> while I'm reviewing the footage. Uh, first of all, I'm just going over with my normal foundation and concealer, just to start with our base. I'm using the Revolution Conceal and Define foundation in the shade F.7, and then I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 0.3, and I'm just blending that all out as normal. And then set in my concealer with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening powder. Then it's time to do the eyes, so come on in. <laughs> so I'm doing one off camera just to show you guys what we're going to be doing and this is what it looks like. I know, a bit OTT, but you're transforming into a doll, so <laughs> who cares? And also it's Halloween. So first off I'm going in with the Barry M All Night Long Concealer in the shade Milk just as a base. And then I'm using the Nikki Tutorials X Beauty Bay palette. And I'm first of all going in with the shade 5AM. And I'm starting to create a really circular shape. I'm first of all kind of looking into the mirror, going above my crease, and then curving it into the inner corner of my eye and going out and beyond my crease. So I'm continuing my crease and actually bringing it past my lower lash line because I'm going to be making my eyes bigger at the bottom so this is going to help me continue that line. Then I'm going into the shade Zoma and I'm starting to blend out the 5am colour just using little buffing motions. And then I'm taking the shade Basic Truth and I'm blending out the Zoma shade and then I go back in with the colours re-intensify and just keep the blend going. Now I'm just going to cut my crease and make sure to keep that circular shape. It's almost like a half moon and I'm also extending the cut crease to just past where my lower lash line ends on the outer corner. We want to make our eyes look really big so that's why I'm doing this. Then I'm taking the shade Ivy and I'm going over all of that cut crease, first of all with my finger to get the foiled effect and then in with a brush for detail work around the cut crease. Now I'm taking the shade Slasher and I'm creating a medium sized wing <laughs> across the lid, tapering it in towards the inner corner and then I'm also continuing this line past my lower lash line to start creating the larger eye. Then I use the same shade and I kind of follow my natural shape but bring it down into like the eye bag <laughs> and I just follow my eye and taper it in towards the inner corner. Then I'm taking summer again and blending out the slasher shade. And then going in with basic truth and doing the same. And just going back in and re-intensifying the colours also, just to make sure we don't lose any. Now I'm taking the Sheen Cosmetics Epic cake liner and this is in the shade buttermilk so it's basically just a white and I'm just going in and I'm filling in that empty space on my lash line and also going in my waterline with this. This is just going to give us a really wide eyed effect, make us look a little more doll like. <laughs> then I'm just throwing on mascara, this is the Falsies Lash Lift by Maybelline. And then I'm going in with these lashes by Doll Beauty on the top and lower lash line. These are in the shade Sandy. They're rather big and fluttery but they're really piecey as you can see so I think it adds to the doll-like effect. I actually picked up a mystery bag from Doll Beauty and got these so they came in super handy. <laughs> That's what the eyes look like. They're pretty much done in all honesty. I wanted to keep this quite simple. Now I'm just setting my brows down. I'm using the Benefit 24 hour setting thing. <laughs> God, what's it called? 24 hour brow setter. That's it. <laughs> Why was that so hot? <laughs> I'm just setting them down so they're natural and bushy. <laughs> my normal brows and now it's time to do the face. Now since we're a doll I'm gonna go pretty simple on the face. I'm gonna do quite a heavy blush. I'm actually using the shade Zoma from the palette and I'm just using a very light 
touch of it and I'm concentrating it on the apple of my cheek but I do want to make it like a little bit more modern I guess <laughs> so I'm kind of blending it across my cheeks as well and then also I'm gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose go for that kind of eagle <laughs> vibe I guess I don't know I wanted to add a little bit more blush <laughs> I'm also adding this to my temples to bring a little bit of warmth to the face and like a little bit of shape but I didn't really want to contour per se so I wanted to add a bit of blush I did go in with a dab and I mean <laughs> a dab of 5am and I just think it's got a good undertone for this kind of shaping so I'm just kind of hollowing out my cheeks a little bit not too much honestly I've barely got any product on my brush I'm kind of cupping my cheek as well to make the illusion of having chubbier cheeks not that I need that but <laughs> to kind of make them protrude a little because we are supposed to be a doll and then I'm also going to do my forehead and my jawline Now for lips, I'm going in with this lip liner by Makeup Revolution in the shade Untouched and I'm going to create a very rounded shortened lip, almost as if I'm going to create a heart shape on the top of my lip and then I just round out the bottom lip also and I'm going to create quite a exaggerated gradient. So I'm filling in a little bit with the lip liner and then I'm just using my finger to fade it out a little and help that gradient start. And then I'm taking the Ofra liquid lip and this is in the shade I cannot remember. <laughs> um, it's a Nikki Tutorials collaboration, the Very Pale Nude, um, but you can just use a pale pink lipstick or liquid lip whatever you'd like and I'm just dabbing it in the center and then blurring it into that lip liner to create a more drastic gradient and you could leave this here if you wanted to just to be a creepy ass doll I honestly hate what this did to my face and I don't know why I think it's the lips and also my eyes are kind of uneven <laughs> but I wanted to creep it up a bit so I'm gonna make some cracks in this doll okay <laughs> i'm taking this maybelline gel eyeliner and i'm just starting to draw kind of crack like lines the only thing i can really suggest to do with this is just kind of wing it <laughs> that is exactly what i am doing here and just kind of go with the flow see what i'm feeling as long as the lines all kind of cross over each other or align at some point you should be able to create a little crack like look. Once I've kind of joined them together I'm just filling in the center and then with the lines that kind of taper out from the initial black I'm just thickening them ever so slightly because you want to kind of make them look like a hairline fracture <laughs> almost so it's thicker at the base and then it trails off. And here I'm just adapting the shape because I decided I want to try and make it look like there's teeth being exposed like you know a skull underneath <laughs> so I'm just extending the shape and filling in more black I'm gonna go back to the teeth at a later time because I wasn't sure whether I was gonna do it or not first of all so I thought I'd just get the initial shape and then we'd go from there now I'm just deciding to add a few more random cracks you can go crazy with this if you wanted to I only decided to do a few because I wanted to keep this pretty simple so I'm just again randomly add in little cracks <laughs> I am gonna zoom you in so you see exactly how I do it so I'm doing one here on my forehead and you can see I'm just kind of doing an initial line and then just tracing off that line and just deciding where to go and deciding where I actually want the hollowed out space to be. And this is what I meant by just thickening the cracks a little bit at the base. Just gives it a little bit more of a three dimensional shape. Once I've put the gel liner down, I am actually setting it with a black eyeshadow. And now I'm taking the white eyeliner that we had earlier and I'm creating highlights and this is going to make it look a little bit more 3D. So I'm just basing that right where the black and my skin tone meet and just doing a very small slither of white to make it look slightly raised and more 3D. And I'm using my kind of 
ring finger to smudge out any harsh lines and also as you can see I'm kind of using it as like an anchor for my brush to steady my hand so I could really get in and, and get real detail with this and I'm continuing to add highlights to the other cracks I've made as well so I'm just going around the edges just think it makes it come to life a little bit more <laughs> now I'm taking some micellar water and a little cotton bud and I want to create some negative space for the teeth I originally started doing like little dots but then I just kind of said screw it and I just <laughs> got rid of a section of the black with the micellar water and now I'm going in with the white and I want to make a gradient so it looks like the teeth are kind of going into the back of the head <laughs> if that makes sense. So I'm just loading up with product and then just letting it naturally fade off the brush, making my way towards the back of the teeth and only topping up when there's, you know, no product coming off the brush anymore. And I'm just kind of filling in that space. I started trying to draw individual teeth but then just kind of decided I might as well just put white there and then go in with black. So that's exactly what I did. I've then gone in with a tiny detail brush and I've set the black around the teeth and then I went in and added some very fine lines in between to create separation. So I'm a little bit off frame by here but I'll come back in in a sec. <laughs> but I just started creating the teeth with the black shadow and added shading and added very like fine lines to look like little cracks in the teeth. I wanted these teeth to be very small, like the doll's got baby teeth. I don't know. Um, so I kept them very small and they initially looked like very squared but then I went back in with the white and kind of added little peaks on top. Now I'm just adding the highlights on the face around the crack so again it looks a little bit more three-dimensional. I mean I'm not fooling anyone <laughs> but I'm trying. then decided that I didn't want the teeth to look too stark white so what I decided to do is go in with the shade Basic Truth from the palette and I just went over the teeth just briefly to kind of give them a little bit of more of a bone shade it's nothing drastic but just wanted to add that over top and then I went in with the shade 5am very lightly around kind of where the gums would be I guess to add like a little bit of colour just add a little bit of shadow that finishes up the little baby teeth <laughs> and that's pretty much it for this look guys i hope you've enjoyed this halloween week if you did please thumbs up the video if you're new please subscribe just hit the red button down below and the little bell button have a happy and safe halloween and now obviously i need to do a montage <laughs> in three two one